So we've got a section of wall here where the pipe work's already been done and we want to be able to uh, mount the detector on the wall underneath the pipework to line up um, so that we can just put the pre-drilled screws in using the template and just mount the detector and secure the pipes. So you'll notice with the template, it shows all of the entry points for the pipes. It also shows the entry points for the electrical cables and also shows the exhaust port. So if I fold the top of this template, it will be equivalent to the top of the detector. So what I want to do is, I want to use pipes number two and three, and I want to line up my pipes with my detector, and then secure this to the, to the backboard with a piece of tape, and then label my holes, and then pre-drill my holes and put my screws in. So I'm just going to go and label the holes and get some sticky tape. So now, of course I'm going to use a level to make sure that it's straight. I'm going to line up my holes like such. Using a level to make sure the template's straight. Just get that exactly where it needs to go. Okay, so now the template's secured on the wall and it's in level. I can, I've marked out my holes A, B and C and I can either pre-drill or put my screws partially into the wall to mark them. So I'll, I'll do that now, straight into the holes. So now that my screws are in, I've got my mounting points for my detector, but I need to take the template off. So now I'll remove the screws. Put a mark here. And remove the template. And here's hole number A. Hole number B. And hole number C. So now I'm going to put my screws in to a 7mm depth. So with my two screws in position A and B, I'm going to mount the detector using keyhole over here and the top keyhole here. So that's secured the detector in place and I'll put my final locking screw in the bottom. The detector is now secure. Taking note where I want to bring my pipes into the detector. Also taking note where I'd like my cables to enter the detector, in this case underneath. Cable is already terminated with power, so the detector will turn on. So now the detector will enter its boot up phase, and the only thing left to do is put the exhaust port in. So if we're using an exhaust port, 